Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 116 of Less Platinum and 100% Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. A giant Moogle. Yeah, for some reason you can, uh, you can battle po Polka or Polk, 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 <laughs> over and over again, but, uh, or, like, he has that little blue dot in his head that doesn't disappear for some reason, but, yeah. Alright, let's leave that alone. Let's go back outside to Sector 7 and start exploring. Let's start by running over here. And let's see who this guy is. Oh, the giant here that await at the happy turtle. Ho ho, greetings, Softshell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well then, allow me to explain. The happy turtle's running a contest. And the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Wutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any Condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Alright, so yeah, this guy. <laughs> so we can use uh, our Condor coins to buy some units for our Fort Condor game. Uh, let's leave it alone for now, we'll get some more and come back later. Alright, we've got a list of flyer clues, let's have a look at that. So, inventory key items, list of flyer clues. Hints on where to find the missing flyers, provided by old snapper. Number one, some kids hit, some, hit one somewhere. Number two, floating through the air. Number three, near old snapper's friend's apartment building. Number four, a cat took one on Culvert Street. Number five, on the town bulletin board. And number six, near the old Talagar factory. Alright, let's work our way down. Some kids hit one near somewhere. That's actually really close by. Can hear Yuffie. And... Bah, knock the boxes away. And all of a sudden you find one. Now, uh, one more thing. The When I pick this up, the controller in a few moments is going to play like the Happy Turtle jingle. It's quite loud and I don't know how it's going to sound on the microphone. But I'll try and put it like relatively near it. But it might be a little bit loud. I'll try and adjust it in post if it is too loud. I have no idea how to turn it off. But here it is. Little guy. Oh. Wait a second, what? That's weird. For some reason this time it just played in my ear. Rather than out of the controller. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. How weird. What the hell? I was like, I've been practicing this like even just before and that didn't happen. Okay. Uh, anyway, come over here and you can open this urn. And it'll give you the Riot Trooper Barracks Defense uh, Fort Condor part. Really good. Wedge is here, but we can't play him at Fort Condor just yet. If we look up here, there's a giant flying turtle. And that was uh, clue number two, floating through the air. So if you hop over here, press triangle, <laughs> you can smack it. You know what that reminds me of, like the way it sort of deflates? is It looks like um, one of those animations from the original Spyro of the Dragon games. I can't remember specifically which one, but I swear there's an animation that looks exactly like that. Right, let's try this again. Yeah, it's playing through my ear. So I'm guessing you guys can hear it. How strange. That's really weird. I don't know why that is. Alright, so we've got those two. Uh, let's go now... Sorry, just give me one moment because I have to figure out... Uh, okay, let's try heading this way. And we're going to go past... There's Jesse over there near 7th Heaven. Let's go over here. 
If you remember, there was this guy here. He gave us like the fifth side quest in chapter three in the main game. And in this, in the DLC, he actually has a weird function. His inventory kind of like, it's not random, but it does change throughout the DLC. So let's see what he's got. At the moment, he's got uh, infinite potions for 30%. Wait, oh, well, it's a reduced price, 30 gil. He's got three high potions, let's buy those. He's also got the security officer barracks for Vanguard and the moth unit defense um, unit. These are both really good, especially, well, to be honest, I'd say both of them are equally as good. This one, I actually didn't even use this um, when I practiced the first time because I didn't know how to, how to get it, but it is so good. It is one of the best... Um, best ones. You get the Astral Cuff here, it doesn't give you any materia slots but it will protect you immensely against magic. And for some reason you can buy a HP up materia here, oh sorry, a HP absorption materia here. We'll buy it just for the sake of getting all the materia, or as many as we can get, but probably not going to use it. Okay, let's uh, head this way. This where we are right now happens to be Culvert Street. And here's the cat that took the flyer. Let's go find it. So there's a bunch of cats, they all have different posters and stuff. This one's got the avalanche poster, I think, isn't it? Don't... Don't let them... Can something the planet die. Don't let them make the planet die, something like that. Anyway, it's got that one. This one's got the chip packet, the stamp chip packet, and it's the correct one as well. It's the our timeline one, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch, watch the original playthrough. Um, there's the business magazine with President Shinra on it. What else we got? These ones are fighting over another magazine. This one got anything? Ah, oh, stamp. Another stamp magazine. And is there anyone over here? Yeah, this one. This one's actually reading the magazine. This one has like a little shish kebab. If you pet them the wrong ones, what does she do again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she says basically the same thing. She might say one extra thing, but she says, nope, got the wrong cat. He is the right cat, though. Gotcha. I'm guessing it's playing through the headphones because I'm recording the audio. I don't know. It's really weird. Anyway, uh, you obtain two high potions, so you can get that there. And now let's go get uh, the fourth flyer. I'm gonna go this way. Go over here. You can actually see Kyrie right here. We can play her in Fort Condor, but not just yet. Uh, actually, let's do this first. This is a bit bit quicker. <laughs> Someone's singing the stamp song, and these kids are learning about stamp. to buy bread for tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went a sniff sniff here and a sniff sniff there. Even finding milk, sausage and cake didn't distract him. Milk, sausage and cake. <laughs> Using his trusty nose, Stamp was able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp went trotting back to base, wagging his tail and singing a happy song. It's Betty, and she's surrounded by her three cats. He came across a moogle crying all by himself. What's wrong? Stamp asked the forlorn little fellow. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in ages, Koopo. The moogle sniffled. Never fear, Stamp's here, and I know just how to help. So Stamp gave the crying moogle his loaf of bread. Thank you, Koopo, the Moogle exclaimed, his palm bouncing excitedly. <laughs> Look at this kid manspreading. What are you doing, kid? And returned to base. When he got there, he went straight to the captain and told him what had happened. The captain was very proud of Stamp. Helping that Moogle was the right thing to do. Who's a good boy? The captain laughed as he gave Stamp a good scratch behind the ears. And Stamp let out a happy bark, for he knew that he was the good boy. The end. <laughs> he was the bestest boy. Alright, if we go over here, we can collect, if I can get the cat to move out of the way. 
Jeez, that is hard to pick up. Uh, some warding materia, so good. In the DLC they pretty much give you all the material that you could collect in the original game much much quicker and the downside is that it's just not super useful for Yuffie so yeah but I mean some of it will probably come in handy it's uh, Marl apparently uh, uh, Yuffie's turtle senses are tingling and we're gonna deal with that let's see what Marl has to say Ah, have business with the Merc, do you? If it's a job you want done, he's your man. But otherwise, don't bother. Got the place a guard. I love the music that they're playing here. It's very like um, the 1950s, I think. All right, so there's a guard dog over there, and we need to be very careful. You can see the flyer just on the left side of the screen there disappeared very quickly. So we got to get to to the flyer. Don't let the dog notice you. Alright, it's gonna go to sleep. So let's go here. Now, we're gonna have to stay here. Yuffie will sort of change her stance. Okay, no, she's good. She's hiding. So watch the dog. He looks to the right. He looks to the left. Now he's gonna doze off. Oh, no, hang on. He's not gonna doze off quite yet. Right, left. Now he's gonna doze off. Let's go here. So she's currently not hidden. Now she's hidden. Just stay right there. This music is so good. It's like Earth Angel, Earth Angel. Na, 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 na. All right, don't hit the bucket and the mop. Go up here, pick up the happy turtle. What do you want with that exactly? Better yet, who are you? Heard some punks have been hassling the nice people at the Happy Turtle, ripping down their flyers. Are you one of them? Mm -mm. So you're trying to sneak a peek at the Merc. Not that I blame you. Boy's easy in the eyes. I'll give him that much. <laughs> uh, but cut your losses, honey. Unless you like your men silent and emotionally unavailable. <laughs> Merc's built a wall around himself so damn high even he can't see over it. He'll never tell you what he's thinking. And that attitude of his. I tried to get through to him, but would he listen? Would he? I'm really not here for... Whoever he is. Then what are you here for? For, uh, directions. But I'm all good now. Thanks. <laughs> Man. I know a lot of, like, RPG protagonists and main characters hair defies gravity, but Miles is, like, next level. <laughs> Sorry, Merc's not here. Okay, well, obviously, yeah, she's talking about Cloud. Let's climb up here. In the original game, I think there was a phoenix down up here. Now, there's a chakra material. So that's good. Grab that, get out of here. Uh, and that one was, um, the flyer said, so this is interesting, it says, uh, near old Snapper's friend's apartment building. So if Tifa stayed here and Cloud stayed here and Marco stayed here and it's right here then maybe Mar Marco was the old man's friend I'm guessing but Marco was also one of those reunion people so I don't know it's kind of weird to be friends with that guy <laughs> he's just like constantly going reunion Genova here's um Chadley we can't talk to him but I'm gonna leave him for a little bit we'll come back to him a bit later I think it's time to do yep it's time to do a game of Fort Condor and we're gonna start things off by uh, facing off against Kyrie She's right over here. Attention! For three gil, you can play Fort Condor against the lovely Kyrie. Three gil? Oh, Kyrie. And actually, you know what? Uh, did I get... No, I didn't get any more Fort Condor coins. All right, let's give it a save. We'll be able to beat Kyrie. Not too... Without too much difficulty. You know the drill. You want to play? You got to fork over. Hmm? What's your deal? And why are you dressed like a five-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you talking about? This isn't weird. It's super cute. Super cute? <laughs> More like super lame. Not as lame as Midgar. Huh? Just saying how much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know? Sure, I'll put you through your paces. But you do know it's gonna cost you, right? One match, three gil. Hey up! Okay, now watch. Look at the right side of the screen when I challenge Kyrie. Three gil lost. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have to pay three gil to 
to do it. All right, you can now edit your loadout. Try experimenting with the various changes you can make. Yeah, let's do the tutorial. Press L1 and R1 to switch between loadouts. So we can now, we're now on the sorcerer board. It says press triangle to change a unit in your loadout. Triangle. Once you've made your selection, press X to swap in the new unit. So let's pick security officer and I'm gonna change it for riot trooper. Done. Choose your loadout wisely to ensure victory. All right, first let me set my loadout, loadout up and then I'll explain why. So we want a security officer. We want, I'm just gonna change this one. We want a security officer, we want a guard dog. We want the officer's barracks, which is there, but I want it over here. We want a slug ray, which is down there, damn it. It's really annoying. Uh, let's do that. Slug ray. We want riot barracks, which is this one. And finally, a blast ray. Okay, so here's my reasoning. It, we have three red, one green, and two blue. Blue is good against red. So she's got five. We want to have, at like, you probably want to have at least three, but because the riot barracks just give you tons of, or just give you basically these guys, these riot troopers, having just the riot barracks is enough. We also want to have at least, what is it, the mono drive. The one thing I didn't explain is like, where it says security officer on the left, it's got like a picture of a boot. That's because he's a ground based unit. The slug ray is the only flyer. And then the little dots that have like a picture of a tower, a boot and a flyer or a fly like a, a wing basically mean it can attack the towers. It can attack soldiers on the ground and it can attack flyers. But here's the thing with Kyrie. We actually want to win quickly, and the best way to do that... Wait, why does it say... I said I used the Sorcerer board, but it says to heal. I think I must have used the wrong one. I think it's this one I want to use, which means I'm going to have to change again. All right, let me try this. Officer Barracks and Riot Barracks. All right, we're almost out of time, so I'm just going to start and see how this goes. Uh, I think we're going to try and basically sneak around. We're going to try and attack her main base rather than defend against what she's bringing. So I want to try and go for a barracks. We start with four AT, <clears throat> excuse me, four ATB. So now I'm on five. I'm going to put a, I think it doesn't matter. I'm going to put an officer's barracks. So now my stuff is going to start summoning. She's going for a mono drive. Nope, she went for the elite heli trooper. So we could actually counter that with, no, we can't counter that with a blast ray at the moment, but we'll just let him go. What we want to do is take advantage of our position Get close here, and then we're just going to summon a blast ray. So his side tower is going to attack us quite a lot and deal a lot of damage and kill our officers, but we've got the blast ray. The blast ray is really powerful. Let's throw a slug ray in, see how our, our guy's going. Yeah, he's about to, the, that one's about to die. All right, go bang, 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 bang. So the guard dog is a really good unit to summon. Let's try that. Go guard dog, watch the guard dog. It can only attack the towers and look how much damage it does. Come on, bang, 120 just like that. All right, so he killed my blast ray, which is not great, but now I'm gonna fire at his main unit. Then I'm gonna heal my guys and throw another security officer and done. There we go, beat her in, in just over a minute. So she did manage to deal quite a lot of damage to one of my towers, you can see that actually at the where the time is at the top of the screen just slightly to the left there's like a it looks like a pawn and then a like a king or a queen and then to the left there's another pawn and that one got um it almost got destroyed anyway for winning we get an elite security officer vanguard and two condo coins so excellent um, excuse me i cheated and i still lost <laughs> what can i say talent trumps all <laughs> whatever you still owe me for my time it's got to be worth Seven gil at least. As if. All right, great. We were done with Yuffie. Now we could battle her again, and I probably will eventually. I'm gonna try checking something that I kind of forget sometimes, but I'm gonna go over here real quick. We're about to end the episode, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna check the inventory of this guy, see if it's update, uh, updated or changed. Uh, yeah. Awesome, okay, so we can pick up the missile launcher range from here. You can see he has the security officer barracks as well, but we got that earlier. So let's grab that. 
He also has uh, three more Phoenix Downs, may as well. We don't need the money for anything else, really. Uh, he's got the Force Bracelet now, so we're going to have four um, Materia slots with eh, a little bit of defense and magic defense, but still not that useful. And he's got MP Absorption now. <laughs> Jeez, the amount of work you had to do in the main game to get that, and mastering all the magic materia, and here you just buy it for a thousand gil. <laughs> big, big difference. All right, well, we've made some decent progress in Chapter 1 already, uh, especially you know, collecting the flyers and all that kind of stuff. We still have two flyers to collect, but we'll do that uh, next time. Just quickly check in here. I don't think this guy sells anything well, worth it. That's quite the get up your uh, just some regular stuff and all the main material from the game. So cleansing, revival, poison barrier and binding. We still don't have, but we've got everything else. All right, next time we are going to play another game of Fort Condor. In fact, in fact, we're in fact, we're probably going to play a few, and we're going to play against Johnny. He's not very good, but that's fine. <laughs> there are some pretty good players later. Anyway, let's leave things there. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 116 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy, and 100% Final Let's Platinum. I want to thank you all for watching episode 116 of Let's Platinum and 100% Final Fantasy Remake Intermission. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.